The movie begins in an Al-Qaeda stronghold in Iraq, where zealous extremists are prepared to carry out an attack on a group of hostages. Marine John Triton arrives on the scene, initiating a firefight with the terrorists, even though he lacks official clearance to engage. Compelled to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, John swiftly dispatches the entire terrorist group and rescues the hostages. Despite his heroic actions, John is informed that he will be honorably discharged from duty. He returns home by plane, where his wife, Kate, warmly welcomes him. Overjoyed to have him back, she eagerly looks forward to spending more time together. However, John grapples with the routine of domestic life and takes up a job as a security guard. The next day, a criminal named Rome enters a jewelry store. Upon entering, his fellow gang members are already positioned. He pretends to examine the valuable items, then violently incapacitates the security personnel. His associate, Bennett, brandishes his weapons, ordering everyone to get down. Since the rear glass is bulletproof, Rome seizes a woman, threatening her life if the manager doesn't open the door. The manager complies, and the woman reveals herself to be Angela, another gang member and Rome's partner, by pulling out a gun. Rome proceeds to the back of the store, instructing the manager to fill a bag with diamonds. As Rome gets ready to leave, the manager pleads with him to strike him to make the scene appear real. Instead, Rome ends his life with a gunshot. The crew quickly departs, with Rome unleashing a hail of bullets from a machine gun on the approaching police force. Morgan, another gang member, wrecks a police car just as they're about to make their getaway. After the crime, police investigate the scene and suspect an inside job involving a store employee. John starts his new job as a security officer at a large corporation, sharing shifts with his colleague, Joe. A wealthy man with two bodyguards enters the office, signs in, and promptly leaves. While Joe enjoys his job, John finds it uninteresting. Joe praises the benefits, the pay, and the minimal work required, urging John to relax. They receive a call about a disturbance on the 12th floor. Up there, the wealthy man is discovered verbally and physically assaulting his ex-girlfriend, stopped only by John and Joe's arrival. When he attempts to provoke Joe, John steps in, escorting him to the ground floor and telling him to leave. As his bodyguards catch up, the wealthy man regains his confidence, instigating a physical altercation with John. Before hurling the man through a window, John incapacitates the two bodyguards. Consequently, John is terminated for his actions, and Joe is suspended. In the aftermath, the two engage in a heartfelt conversation. Joe advises John to embrace change as a natural part of life and to cherish his time at home. Inspired, John decides to focus on uplifting his spirits and making the most of his time with his wife, Kate. Retreating to their hotel room, Rome and Angela find Angela troubled by the day's events at the jewelry store. Rome, confessing to killing the manager due to the revelation of his true identity, reassures Angela that everything else unfolded according to plan. Meanwhile, John is driven home by Joe, who downplays the office incident until they watch a news report about a security guard's rampage, including footage of John throwing the man through a window. Expressing regret for the incident, John suggests he return to work prematurely. Kate proposes a road trip, and he agrees. Embarking on their journey the next day, they're enthusiastic about the road ahead. John, realizing they need to refuel, stops at a gas station, coincidentally where Rome and his crew are also refueling. Inside for snacks, John coincidentally crosses paths with Angela and Bennett. The arrival of a police vehicle at the station alarms Rome's gang. While the young officer engages in casual conversation about Rome's car during refueling, Morgan blindsides him, shooting him in the head. Rome takes down the other cop trying to escape. Upon hearing the chaos, John rushes back to Kate but is knocked unconscious by Bennett. Angela shoots the cashier as the group runs away, adding to the body count. Rome forcefully takes Kate hostage from her car. When John wakes up, they quickly leave. Morgan shoots at the gas station, causing a huge explosion that throws John back. After recovering, he sees the gang's car speeding away with Kate. He hurries to the injured officer's car, narrowly avoiding another explosion and helps the surviving cop. His goal is to rescue his wife, so he gets into his car. John calls the police and informs them about the injured officers and the hostage situation. He pushes his car to its limits as he chases after the gang. In the getaway jeep, Angela discovers that Kate is married to a Marine but doesn't think it matters. Bennett and Morgan shoot at John's pursuing vehicle. Rome tries to force John's car off the road, tearing off the roof, but John keeps going. Blinded by gunfire, he stays determined and stays on their trail. He veers off a cliff and crashes below. Inspecting the wreckage, the gang finds Kate angry. Angela threatens them with a gun, but Rome steps in and reminds them that Kate is their lifeline. With their car useless, 
Vesera scolds Morgan for his reckless shooting, which leads to a fight. Rome calms them down, and they decide to cross a swamp on foot to reach their destination. Their plan is to exchange the stolen jewels for payment. Detective Van Buren arrives at the gas station crime scene and learns about John's radio transmission. Hurrying to a reported car crash, he finds the abandoned vehicle. Suddenly emerging from the swamp, John briefs the detective about his wife being kidnapped. Despite Van Buren advising against pursuing, John remains determined. He acknowledges the risks but remains focused on rescuing Kate. As the gang moves through the swamp, Kate starts resisting, but Bennett restrains her, causing friction between Morgan and Vesera. In a surprising twist, Rome shoots Vesera without clear cause. Simultaneously, law enforcement units search the marshland for the gang from above and on the ground. John stumbles upon Vesera's killing, retrieves his knife, and determinedly continues his pursuit. Rome receives a call from the contact waiting for the stolen jewels but decides to betray him, rendering their actions pointless. Concurrently, John uses his expert tracking skills to stay on their trail and is closing in fast. He senses imminent danger in a forest clearing, where Bennett lunges at him, but John quickly frees himself. A man accuses John of being law enforcement, knocking him unconscious. John wakes up tied to a chair in a shed, surrounded by two burly men stowing away their stash. To protect himself, John claims to be a police officer tracked by GPS, leading to chaos. In the brawl, John incapacitates one man and escapes his restraints, engaging in a violent fight with the other. In the melee, John loses track of Rome, his henchman, and his wife. He presses on, finding their trail again at a riverbank, where he spots Rome, his crew, and Kate entering an abandoned cabin in the marsh. Kate gradually loosens her restraints as the men go out in search of a generator. Morgan starts working on the generator underground but is attacked by John, who ends Morgan's life with a knife. Rome plans a hasty getaway, asking a friend for a car at a marina. Bennett tries to kickstart a boat they need, but John ambushes and overpowers him. Detective Van Buren encounters John and expresses his desire to take charge of the pursuit, conceding to let John see his mission through. In the lodge, when the lights fail, Kate seizes the chance to escape. Angela chases her, and a scuffle ensues until Angela brandishes a gun. John storms in, but Rome points a gun at him. Van Buren intervenes, holding his own gun to Rome's head, demanding he lower his weapon. However, Van Buren abruptly turns his firearm on John, revealing his deceitful alliance with Rome. In summary, he requests the stolen gems from Rome, who orders the detective to kill John in return for a portion of the jewels. Van Buren hesitates, so John takes advantage of the situation by using him as a shield while Rome shoots at them. As Rome tries to escape, John follows suit. With only Angela and John remaining, Rome shoots the gas cylinders beneath the lodge before escaping with Kate. Nevertheless, John manages to escape before the lodge crumbles. Rome forces Kate into the trunk of Van Buren's car, and they flee. When the Coast Guard tries to capture John in the water, he takes control of the situation, seizing a rifle and a boat. Rome decides they need to abandon Van Buren's car, so he instructs Angela to stop a semi-truck on the road by using her attractiveness to get close enough to the driver to kill him. While on the police boat, John overhears a radio report about the murdered truck driver and the location of the stolen truck. By nightfall, John arrives at the marina. He eavesdrops on Rome's conversation and spots the truck. Kate notices him and creates a distraction, allowing John to approach the truck quietly and leap onto it. Angela is thrown from the moving vehicle by John, and she is killed when she is hit by a bus. Rome tries to shoot John, but Kate steps in and knocks the gun away. Rome attempts to dislodge John from the truck by driving through several shacks, but John withstands the blows before being thrown off. After the truck collides with a building, causing a massive explosion, Rome abandons the vehicle, leaving Kate chained inside. John sprints after the crashing truck, which smashes through a building and ends up in the river. Rome ambushes John and launches an assault that knocks him out. When John regains consciousness, the two engage in a fistfight until debris from a collapsing structure lands on him. Rome seizes the opportunity to strike a decisive blow, slamming a sledgehammer into John's ribcage. He then pulls out a chainsaw, which John narrowly avoids. As Rome begins to mock John about his wife, an adrenaline rush fuels John, allowing him to disarm Rome and begin battering him, sending him flying. Then, in search of his wife, John jumps into the river. He swims back to the truck, where he discovers Kate unconscious and shackled. He quickly releases her and drags her to the surface, desperately attempting to revive her. Kate begins coughing while in his arms, much to his relief. Rome suddenly attacks John with a chain, but John counterattacks, hurling Rome and snapping his neck in mid-air, killing him instantly. 
Just as the cops arrive, the couple finally exchanges a hug and a kiss. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.